Hello everybody and uh, welcome to uh, phase one webinar, Metric Calibration uh, 101. Uh, my name is uh, Udi Menaker and I'm the product manager for uh, iXplan, iXFlight, iXCapture. I'm also responsible for all the camera calibrations at uh, phase one industrial. And as a pilot, I manage and uh, execute the flight testing of the uh, new uh, products of uh, Phase One Industrial. What are we going to go over this uh, uh, webinar? Uh, we'll speak about uh, why do we need metric calibration? Uh, what is the effect of image distortion on photogrammetry? Uh, what do we mean when we say calibration model? What's the meaning of camera calibration? Um, what is the procedure that we do in phase one in order to calibrate the cameras? Uh, the effect of uh, calibration on distortions? And we'll discuss uh, the use of calibration in uh, processing tools um, and then a summary and the uh, questions. Uh, if you have questions, you can type them in and at the end of the uh, presentation, we'll go over the questions and uh, try to answer as much as possible. So what is the challenge? The relation between image point as registered on the camera sensor do not represent correctly the relations between the physical points in real life. That's the challenge. Uh, if you look at the uh, image on the right, you'll see uh, convex columns. Uh, I assume you know that the columns are straight, they are not convex. If you look at the middle image, you see a convex uh, cupboard. I assume you agree that the cupboard is probably straight. However, in the image, they all registered as not as straight lines. So um, the image does not represent correctly the relation between the physical points in real life. It, this is um, because of lens characteristics and uh, we do have also product variations which the calibrations take care of and we do have installation variations and sensor position that the uh, calibration takes care of, but the um, registration of the points, this is the physical characteristic of the lens. Why do we mind? We mind because the deviation of point 3D location is based on point image location in multiple images. Now, if we have, um, for example, if this X does not represent uh, the correct uh, measure, then the XA here will not come up correctly. And moreover, if we have a difference in how wrong this X from X tag, then this location will be wrong. So we have to correct uh, this X and Y to actually represent, to correctly represent real life. Another factor is that all the um, calculations that we do in photogrammetry rely on the correct relation between the focal length and the height above the point. Well, the focal length, when we say, um, 50 millimeter, lens, uh, 50 millimeter lens, it's it's a marketing name. It's not really 50 millimeter. It's usually 51 point something or 52 point something. And the same when we say 70 millimeter lens, it's never 70, exactly 70 millimeter. It's uh, usually 69 point something. And we need this something to be accurate uh, four or more five or six points after the uh, dot uh, because we want to be accurate to the level of the um, size of the pixel. Oh. 
So what, are, what is calibration? When we say calibration model, what do we mean by this? The image distortion can be described mathematically. And if we take the um, mathematical uh, representation of the distortion, we can subtract it from the measured location or add it to the measured location. And with this, calibrate the actual location on the sensor. So the calibration model is actually a set of equations that use the distortion model in order to correct the image. The input is pixel location, row and column, and model parameters, and the output is the corrected pixel location. And uh, we use uh, at phase one calibrations that follow the Brown model. It's called the Brown model. Uh, because it was uh, published by, it was developed and published by Duran Brown in December 1968 in his paper Advanced Method for the Calibration of Metric Cameras. So, what is the meaning of camera calibration when we say we, we do a camera calibration? What does it mean? It means that we find the values of the focal lengths, C. We find the picture zero aberration uh, coordinates. This is the principal points, X, P, and Y, P. We find the coefficients of the radial and the tangential aberrations, K1, K2, K3, P1, P2. Those are the P1, P2 are the tangential, K1, K2, K3 are the radial. And we find the coefficients of pixel affinity and non orthogonality B1, P2, and I will show in a second the uh, actual equations. If we look at the equations on the uh, lower part of the uh, slide, we see that those are the equations with the Australis model. Uh, we have the X measured and Y measured on the image, and then we have the X, P, Y, P, which we got from the calibration, and we have the K1, K2, K3, P1, P2, B1, B2, which we got from the calibration, and we got the measured, and we get from the equation the corrected value for X and Y. Uh, we use several models, the Australis, so those are the equations for the Australis, the USGS, the INFO, and others. The difference between the models is usually the number of uh, radial parameters that are used, the Kn, and whether we add the um, error or whether we subtract the, the correction, whether we add or whether we subtract the correction. So most of the brown models are the same. The difference is with the K, the number of K values, and whether we add or subtract the corrections. If we look at USGS model, for example, we see here that the USGS model has K0 and K4 in addition to the K1, K2, K3. If we look at the uh, info calibration model, we see uh, addition of uh, K parameters. And I don't have the exact model of the info, but because of the fact that Usually the signs are reversed from the Australis. I assume that in the info model, uh, the error, the correction is subtracted or rather than added or vice versa, but it's, it's uh, the opposite of the Australis model. What is the camera calibration procedure at phase one? Uh, we have a large 3D target with the multiple surveyed control points. And we put the camera uh, in 10 locations. Uh, in each location, we use four orientation, the portrait, uh, up portrait inverted, um, sorry, landscape, up landscape inverted and portrait right, portrait left. Uh, so we get 40 images of the uh, target in uh, 10 uh, different locations. We run those images in uh, commercial tools, which has some phase one adaptations. 
and we extract calibration parameters in various models. The tool enables us to know uh, two things uh, in addition to the parameters, to check the actual camera if, if the a lens is a good lens and also enables us to check the um, quality of the process itself. Once we know that the process itself was a good process, correct process, and the camera is a good one, we generate a certificate. Now theoretically, the camera retains the calibration parameters as long as the lens is not removed. Now, uh, phase one cameras are pretty robust. They're built very strongly, so they retain the uh, calibration for a long time and, and you cannot change the focus. It's, it's set in the lab here. So the uh, calibration does not change. However, uh, I see that cameras that come after uh, a long time, do change. Um, sometimes camera have an un, uh, unpredicted meeting with the runway. Uh, these cameras need to be recalibrated after the camera meets the runway from uh, longer than 10, farther than 10 or 20 centimeters. It's advised to uh, recalibrate it. So usually we uh, advised to recalibrate annually, and it's due to handling. If the camera is well kept, it will keep the uh, uh, calibration for a long time. What is the effect of uh, calibration on the distortion? On the left, you'll see the um, distortion image before the calibration. Now, I got a response for this picture some time ago from somebody saying, I will not take a camera with 100, 100 uh, pixels on the edges for uh, photogrammetry. Now, this is before calibration. Uh, the important thing is to that the camera is uh, adheres to the radial model, meaning the distortion in this area is the same as the distortion in this area, in the same radial distance, same as the distortion here, same as the distortion here. So this is the important thing, to make sure that the camera adheres to the model. And remember that the physics for phase one camera is not different from the physics for any other vendor. Uh, all lenses have the same, close to the same distortions, we show the distortions without any pre-calibration. And this is why you see the actual distortion. Now, the important thing is to make sure that after calibration, the maximum uncorrected distortion is less than a pixel. And the image on the right, I picked a lens that is not that good. I picked it and not less not that good lens because I wanted to show you how it looks because if if I showed you something that has only green dots here you wouldn't understand but you'll see here that there are some uncorrected distortions they are less than one pixel it's still acceptable but you don't want to see after calibration for example a a, a corner that has very large more than more than uh, three quarters of a pixel uh, distortions. This is something that uh, the camera will not leave the office if we see something like this. So after calibration, it's important to make sure that all the distortions are corrected and that they are less than uh, probably three quarters of a pixel and usually less than half a pixel. Now let's talk about the use of uh, calibration in processing tools. Uh, we deliver uh, calibration in Australis, USGS, and Info uh, files, not only on the certificate, written certificate, but also files in the correct formats. And we also can provide open uh, CV at CalCAM 3DM format if requested and some others as well. You need to check with us whether we have the format or not. 
Yeah, remember the files are delivered on the discount key in the camera box. So if the camera goes to the flight line with the discount key and you send only the paper to those who do the processing, they will miss the files. Uh, they do need the files. So remember when you send the camera to the flight line, give please please give the discount key to those who do the calibration, the, the processing, they need the information of the disk key. Um, it's important that when you import uh, the files, verify that you import correct model. So if you're importing into info, we supply you an info file, please use the info file, not another one. If you do your own calibration and you use uh, IX Capture for processing, make sure that you have the camera serial number in the name of the uh, calibration file. This is important. Uh, the use of IX Capture in the use of um, uh, calibrations inside IX Capture, uh, you need the um, Calibration if you're using IX Capture for distortion corrected images, you can use distortion corrected RGB. If you're doing RGB near IR and you're generated three band or four band or NDVI, uh, use of calibration is must. Without it, you cannot generate the uh, CIR, the combined infrared images. And once you select the uh, distortion corrected RGB or distortion corrected uh, near IR, and uh, here you select it you will be able to import with click here and show uh, ix capture where you stored the um, files and you can import them and verify that the correct serial number that you did not import uh, near ir to rgb or uh, rgb to near ir now when you do distortion corrected images and you take distortion corrected images to the next station the next processing tool you have to remember that these are already corrected images so um, on page 73 of the manual that nobody reads we uh, spell out exactly the parameters of the uh, distortion of the processed images of the distortion free images uh, when you export using uh, IX Capture uh, RGB and near AR, we retain the focal length of the source image and the XP and YP of the source image. All the other products, we move the XP and YP to 00, zero the center of the image, and the focal length depends on what product it is. So the distortion corrected images, the focal length would be the source, the focal length of the source image. The three and four band CIR and NDVI, the focal length is the focal length of the source RGB because this is the master image. We use the, uh, when we correct, when we make CIR images, we use the uh, RGB as a master and the focal length is the focal length of the uh, source RGB. Uh, when we generate IXURS 1900 uh, images, the uh, focal length is the focal length of the left image. This is the master image, left image. And the same when we do three band and four band from the 1900 megapixel, we use the um, uh, we use the uh, RGB as master, and it is the uh, left uh, image is the focal length. So to summarize, when using products two to five, number products number two to five, in other processing tool, take into account their new parameters. Um, if I got two weeks ago a request from a customer that he took um, four band CIR into um, a processing tool and it didn't work and he showed me that he's using the correct pro, uh, calibration but those are CIR files those are already corrected files uh, if you're using corrected files for product 2 till 5 you need to put XP YP K1 K2 K3 and all those to zero 
and use the correct focal length. So this is important and will save you quite a lot of time. To summarize, the raw images are always distorted. And in photogrammetry processing, we need to um, correct the distortions. And the distortions of phase one camera adhere to the brown model. Those are radial uh, distortions and they are very, very, very radial. The tangential is very small with respect to the radial, so most of it is radial distortions. The calibration process generates the calibration parameters. Uh, if you remove the lens, you avoid the calibration. You remove the lens and put it back, it's never on the same, it's never on the same place and it's never the same calibration. And if you're using IX Capture distortion free images, uh, please take into account their new parameters. And we advise to recalibrate uh, cameras uh, on annual basis, just to make sure that the, nothing changed there. Um, thank you very much. I um, will take a question now. And I see that the first question is, where can we request copies of the uh, digital calibration files? Um, just open a, open a, a, open and maintenance call in our portal or send me a mail with the serial number of the camera. This is important. We need the serial number of the camera in order to send you a file. Um, Paula, I appreciate if you help me with the questions. Sure. I can't... Yeah, what uh, there's one that says, what is the typical pixel change in a phase one camera from pre-calibration to post-calibration? It depends on the lens. There is no one answer. It, it very much depends on the lens. There are lenses in, in which it's uh, five pixels. As, as, as small as five pixels or even less. And there are lenses in which it's uh, um, several hundred pixels. It depends on the lens. Okay. Like 40, do not expect in a 40 millimeter lens to get, uh, or in 28 millimeter lens, do not expect uh, that pre calibration will be less than several hundreds of pixels. This is a lens, this is the physics of the lens. It's a very wide lens. Okay, thanks, Udi. Uh, that, that's all the questions that I've seen coming in as well. So, thank you. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your time. Hope you find uh, this uh, information uh, interesting and uh, thank you.